Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be doing probably one of the first ones on YouTube. This deck profile is going to be for Magic World. Currently my favorite world for, from uh, Buddy Fight, even though it's not the most competitive right now. Uh, it's still my favorite. So I have the flag, and then I have the buddy that I chose was Dance Magician. Uh, I had to go with this guy because this is the only one that I have that has good overall stats uh, and I have multiple copies of it. Meaning I run four of these in the deck. So to start off only one size three monster uh, because I only have one. Demon Programmer Marbus. Uh, I did not pull a Belial. If I had a Belial I'd run two size threes but for now that's all I have. And then for size 2, one Herb Magician. Uh, he's good. The only bad thing about him is he's a wizard. That's really the only downside to him. And right now, there's either wizards or there's 72 pillars. Uh, and 72 pillars is the better one to go with right now because there's more support in the spell with the spell cards as well as there's just overall more monsters that are 72 pillars. But he'll probably get a lot better and see a lot more play when once set two comes out and adds more wizard cards. Uh, next one, Demon Realm Negotiator. Uh, he's a double R, and he has draw power. Two, Barrier Master, Shadow Flash. He's another wizard with a counter. You can use him to nullify. Basically, you can like tribute him to nullify an opponent's attack. Two, Liar, Full Fool. Uh, the nice thing about him, he's under 72 pillars. He has pretty decent stats. He has 6,000 power, 2 damage. Um, and he also, when you when you call him, uh, you're allowed to set a spell. You can play a set spell without having to pay its cast cost at all. So that's, that's pretty decent because this deck does have a couple, as you'll see. It has a couple set spells. And then I have two Fallen Angel of Rage, Belleth. Two only because they're uncommon. And then four of the Buddy, Dance Magician, Albrecht. He, the only reason why I chose him as the Buddy again, because I have multiple copies of him, and he actually has 6,000 defense, so he's pretty good. A lot of times, Magic World is the complete opposite of Danger World, and that you're always going to want to have some a monster in the center. So for size 1s, one Magician of Glass, another Wizard. For some reason, I don't know why, but I got, I pulled mostly Wizard Hollows, which is odd, and I was hoping not to pull them, but I'll still use them. They'll be good later on. And then two, Demon Doctor Boar. A lot of people say to run four of these, and I can understand why. Um, like, probably the best first turn move is to call him to the center and attack. Uh, because he'll die anyway. And he builds Gage. And then two, Demon Realm, Death Metal, Valifar. I would run four, but uh, he's an uncommon. And two, Preacher of Beauty. Same reason with Same reasoning with him. Another uncommon, so I only have two of them. And then three, Demon Maestro. I could run four of this, but I don't really think it's necessary. He only has, he's, he's like a straight 4,000 attack, 4,000 defense, and he deals one damage. So he's pretty generic stats. And then four, Fallen Angel Paimon. This guy's better than him, mainly only because he deals more damage. So that's the monster lineup for the spell, or actually for the items. Two Gunrod Stradivarius and two Gunrod uh, Beckstein. Only four items because this deck isn't very item heavy and because, main, well, the more, the, be, the real reason is because I only have four items for Magic World. But like I said, they're not really dependent too much on their items and they're, you're always going to have something in the center. So every time you have one of these, all you're going to do is just rest it and deal direct damage. Speaking of direct damage, two, Transflame, 
deal one damage to your opponent. So basically put some burn damage there. To the arc, this card is very good because you have such a high spell count and this can save you from death. So it's basically like a auto life. Your opponent has to kill you two, twice or if you have if you're able to use two of these in the same round or the same match, they have to kill you three times. So it's kind of like a delay your death sort of card. It's a very unique card. I don't I don't there're not a lot of games that have this. I think Magic the Gathering has cards like this, but Yu-Gi-Oh and Vanguard definitely don't have anything like that. Uh, one devil advantage. It's kind of like a War Returning Alive, but it pulls two instead of just one. It basically you pay one gauge, cho choose two 72 pillars with the same name, so you can basically get back any two copies of a 72 pillar from the drop zone. One Magical Goodbye. It's like a compulsory evacuation device for size two or less. Two, nice one. This is like Pot of Greed. That's the easiest way to explain it. One quick summon. At first I thought this card was pretty good because it's an uncommon. But it turns out it's not really that good. I may actually take it out altogether and opt to run four of the next card, which is Solomon's Shield. This is just their basic standard nullify your opponent's attack. Two, Abracadabra. This is like a uh, Imperial Order or a Magic Jammer. It basically nullifies a spell cast by the opponent at the cost of two gauge. Uh, but really two of these is enough because they'll tend to clog your hand if you have more than two. And then two be gone. This is basically solemn warning. That's the easiest way to explain it. And then two destruction are in here because this deck doesn't have high item count and the opponents, especially danger world opponents, are going to run a lot of items that are really, really annoying, like that Hysteric Spear. So just to give this deck a little bit of more ability to hit them back, I put two Destructions in here. I'll probably only run one, but I have to run two because I have an open spot, because unfortunately I only have one of their impact card, Diabolical Hardcore. Ideally, I'd like to have two of these. I don't really think three is necessary for this deck because they can win in different ways like direct damage if I had more of the burn cards or and using the items. So that was basically my first edition of my Magic World deck. Let me know what you guys think or what you would change. Uh, as always, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks.